I think my excitement for platform engineering is no surprise for anyone by now. And that's why I was really excited seeing this year's KubeCon agenda because there were so many talks on platform engineering. Not only is there a platform engineering track on the main conference days, but also there is a platform engineering co-located event and there is a backstage co-located event as well. So you can imagine the amount of talks on platform engineering that there would be at this KubeCon. And that's why apart from my excitement, I was also kind of feeling overwhelmed trying to make my agenda. And I went through all of the talks and I prepared a list of five talks which I personally was really excited about. And in this video, I'm going to share them with you. Towards the end of this video, we also have a really exciting announcement to make if you're a platform engineer or if you're an engineering leader who cares about DevX. So make sure you watch this video till the end to hear what we are gonna announce. The first talk on this list is guiding your enterprise with Kanoi and it's by Engin Didi from Pulumi. It's a lightning talk, so it's gonna be short and to the point, and it's about the Cloud Native Operational Excellence Working Group, which came up with the Kanoi framework, which is basically a framework to help organizations decide what tools to invest in, what platforms to invest in for their platform engineering efforts. So if you're a decision maker and you are thinking about implementing platform engineering or you are still deciding if platform engineering is gonna be worth it or not, I would definitely recommend you check out this talk because it's gonna help you make decisions decisions better. It's going to provide you with a framework you can use to decide what you want to invest in and how you want to go about your platform engineering efforts. The next talk on the list is platform rock, paper, scissors, that is build, adopt or buy. And build versus buy is a topic we have talked a lot about on our blogs and on our webinars. And this talk is going to be just about that. It's going to compare the differences in approach when you decide to you know build your own platform or you want to buy it or you want to adopt an existing open source project is going to weigh all the pros and cons of each different approach and this is something which a lot of people are talking about in the industry and i'm really excited about this particular panel because it's with speakers who are working across different companies and in different positions so whenever there's like a wide variety of takes i think that makes for a really good panel discussion and this is a topic which requires a panel discussion build versus buy because like there are a lot of opinions and there are a lot of things you need to consider based on where you are as an organization, what budget do you have, what long-term goals you're targeting and all of that. So this talk is going to be about all of those things which you need to consider. And it's also going to talk about day two experiences which you will have based on the choice you make. So I would definitely recommend checking this talk out as well. The third talk on this list is by Guy and Oshrat and it's Let's Go Backstage. If you've been thinking about implementing Backstage or adopting Backstage in your organization, I would definitely, definitely recommend you check this talk out. Guy has been talking about Backstage a lot and he has a video series on his channel. So he's very knowledgeable about Backstage and its implementation and what Oshrat will bring to this talk is I think a security focused aspect. So together they're gonna discuss, you know, all the things you can do with an IDP and also focus on day two things like security, which matter a lot as you start to adopt the platform and use it in your company. The talk description says there's gonna be a demo about how you can implement uh, IDP in your organization, but also add security features like scanning your cluster and other things and see those results in a dashboard in Backstage as well. I think this is gonna be a really interesting demo and I'm really looking forward to this talk. Talking about Backstage and the company which open source Backstage, we have a speaker from Spotify, Samantha Kaufman, who's going to be talking about boosting developer platform teams with product thinking. And this is something, again, which I have written a lot about in our blogs and even our webinars, I've talked about this. It's about how you should adopt a product-centric mindset towards your platform in your organization. And that helps you accelerate your platform engineering efforts and be successful in them. So it's gonna cover all the things which are required for this. It'll talk about a cultural shift which is needed in your organization, how to go about thinking that, how to treat the developers your company has as users and think about things from their perspective. And it's gonna really shine a light on a lot of things which people miss when it comes to platform engineering because I think there's a tendency to just jump in and get confused by the amount of tools they are and try to just spend your energy deciding what tools you wanna use, what 
tools will help you create a better platform but people often forget that the underlying aspect and the underlying problem you're trying to solve is providing a better development experience and that can only be possible if you start to think of your IDP or your platform as a product internally in your company which you're offering to your developers. So I think if you're trying to cultivate this sort of mindset you should definitely check out this talk. One of my favorite things about KubeCon is getting to hear from end user companies how they are using different CNCF projects or how they are incorporating best practices in the industry in their companies. And this next talk is just that. It's by the Lego group and it's going to be about how they build products and platforms on top of Kubernetes based on their specific needs. It's going to be really interesting to hear from a company which is operating at such a large scale to see how they implemented this and what benefits they got out of this. The talk description said they're going to touch on chaos engineering as well, which is something they did to, you know, test the resiliency of their platforms. So I think this is a really interesting take on seeing how the things we talk about, how they actually, you know, work in real life scenarios and how these products like backstage or I don't know what they're going to talk about in the talk, but whatever products or approach they used in their uh, actual implementation, how that scaled and how that worked out for them. So if you want to hear a real life story of a platform engineering team, I think this talk is a no brainer to attend. So that was it. Those are the five talks I wanted to recommend to everyone who is interested in platform engineering and DevX. But I would still recommend you go check out the agenda of Backstage Con, Platform Engineering Con and the Platform Engineering Track at KubeCon to see what all talks are there and see what aligns with your interest. If you've already checked out the agenda, I hope this video was still useful for you in highlighting some talks which you might have missed. Let me know in the comment section what platform engineering talks you all are excited about and I would love to check them out as well. Thank you for sticking till the end of this video and now it's time for the announcement I said we are going to make at the start and that is that we are launching our own platform engineering and DevX focused newsletter. And if you're a platform engineer or you care about DevX, I would definitely recommend you sign up for this one. It's not going to be long form content. It's not going to be spammy. It's just crisp to the point information and insights which we have learned talking to different customers, prospects, people in the industry. All those things we are going to condense into really short form and provide it to you so that you are able to be successful in your platform engineering efforts. The link to sign up for the newsletter is going to be in the description of this video. So please do check that out. And the first 100 people who sign up are getting our awesome DevX sticker pack. So that's a plus as well if you sign up right now. If you're attending KubeCon, I would love to meet you there. So ping me on Twitter or LinkedIn or even in the comment section and let's find some time to catch up. Thank you for watching this video once again and I hope you found this useful.